Gen Z Nostalgia Part 2. Now, I know some of you guys have been waiting for this, and I had lots of fun making the first part and reminiscing on my childhood myself, so here's the sequel. Okay, first thing on the list are 3D glasses. Now, I don't know if this was just exclusive to my school, but at some point in time, kids started bringing their 3D glasses to school and wearing them throughout the day to show off to other kids. And to be honest with you, my six-year-old self thought they looked so damn cool, man. So I joined the hype and started bringing my own pair to school too, thinking I was the next fashion icon of some sorts. Lil bro really thought he was Virgil. Like, I swear I had drip of those 3D glasses, man. They were like the beta test for the clout goggles. Next, let's talk about going to the grocery store with your mom. So most people have been to the grocery store with their mom, and you know, your mom would actually be shopping and looking around for items, while your 5 year old self is busy exploring and wandering off around the store. And after a few minutes of wandering around, you would lose sight of your mom and you would start to panic and look around in every single aisle. And you wouldn't see her at all and then you would begin to get scared. This happened to me before and I was literally on the verge of tears trying to find where my mom went. I damn near thought my life was about to be over. <laughs> But eventually after being traumatized for a good 5 minutes, you'd find her and be relieved and happy nothing bad happened. Some of these parents would do this on purpose and as someone who's personally went through this, it wasn't funny. Then you got the time where you'd be in the cashier line and your mom would want to get another item. So she would leave the line to go find it and the cashier would scan all your items super fast and be like, Okay, so how would you like to pay? Oh no no no, I don't have any money, my mom will be back, I swear. Hey, yeah. Cut the shit off, bro. I gotta cut the shit the fuck off. <laughs> Like, this had me stressing, man, because how was I going to cough up all that money to pay for all that? But eventually, she would come back, and it would be a huge relief. These adults just like messing around with kids. The next thing we'll talk about is music. Now, I can guarantee you that we all go back to listen to music that was popping back in, like, the 2000s or 2010s. And, dude, they just had so many banger songs back in the day on the radio. Like, there are way too many to list. We have Call Me Maybe, Fireflies, Hey There Delilah, The Cup Song, Rude safe and sound counting stars baby what makes you beautiful like there's too many songs to list in one video like i'm sorry if i didn't name your favorite song but yeah music in this era definitely hit different and the radio was actually playing good songs rather than complete garbo songs like astronaut in the ocean like who's listening to astronaut in the ocean bro I also listened to some older music back in the day too, like songs from ABBA, The Beatles, Louis Armstrong, Whitney Houston, Bob Marley, and Bill Withers. And this was because my music class teacher, he would play these older songs on his piano, and as a class, we'd sing those songs. And they were straight bangers too. Nowadays, I find myself listening to these songs, and it just reminds me of the days in the past, and brings a lot of good memories that I've experienced. The next thing we'll talk about is school shenanigans. Now, at school, everyone used to grab a bunch of markers with their friends and see you can make the longest marker lightsaber and then you'd have battles with your friends with them and we used to act like we were injecting substances into ourselves with the mechanical lead pencils thinking we were cool and funny we'd make bootleg beyblades we'd poke holes in our erasers for no reason sharpen our pencils on both sides create the world's smallest pencil and use it create a magic eraser that had yes and no written on each side, and you'd ask it questions and throw it up in the air like a magic eight ball. Magic eraser, am I ever gonna get a girlfriend? Bruh. Am I ever gonna get married? Damn, is that how it really is? Hmm, will I get men? Hey, yo! You'd go crazy on the city mats with the toy cars. I don't know if you guys had this in your kindergarten class, but we had a sandbox and I'd go crazy making sand sculptures and sand castles. We'd paint some next level Picasso level paintings and let them dry overnight on the art rack. Then you got the challenges. We did the Charlie Charlie challenge, which was basically you'd have a paper with yes or no written on it and two pencils and you'd balance the pencils to try to talk to a ghost. And then you'd ask questions and apparently the pencil would move by itself. You'd be like, Charlie Charlie, are you here? And the pencil would apparently move by itself. But we all knew that kid that would just blow on the pencil. Like the fakest challenge ever, man. Then you had the bottle flips. Like every kid was doing this at some point. Then you have the 
the Bloody Mary challenge. Now this challenge was scary as hell. It was basically you'd go inside a bathroom and close the lights and say to the mirror three times, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. And apparently a ghost would come out of the mirror. And bro, I remember doing this with my friends a few times back in elementary and we had an entire ritual planned. We'd close the lights, then flush every single toilet in the bathroom. And then we'd walk up to the mirror and start chanting, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. And bro, once we finished saying the chant, we'd instantly book it out the door and dip out of there because it was too scary. One time we did this and I walked my friend in the room and he was screaming while I was laughing on the other side. Yeah, I'm an absolute savage for that. The next thing we'll discuss is a whooping. Now, I bet some of you guys can relate. So you've just done something stupid like break a vase in the house and your mom finds out and then you proceed to get your ass whooped for the next few minutes for what you did. Yeah, my punishment wasn't no daycare baby nap time like getting a timeout, grounded, or getting the PlayStation taken away. I was getting it handed to me, bro. And then after, you head up to your room crying and think about your entire plan to run away. And you'd pull one of these. But you wouldn't actually run away and you just head to your bed while sobbing away and your mom would come to your room 30 minutes later to say dinner's ready and your ass would be at dinner bawling your eyes out while trying to eat by the way i haven't experienced this i'm just uh reciting what a friend told me yeah. Anyways, not really something to be nostalgic about, but to me, it's funny thinking back on it. The next thing we'll talk about is scholastics and book fairs. Now, every time we got our scholastics from our teachers, I'd look through that thing in depth. Like, browsing through all the books was just really fun, but I never actually bought something from it. Then came the book fairs, man. Now, the book fairs were goaded. Not for the books? Well, except for these ones. But not even for the book itself, for the Lego minifigures. Anyways, the book fairs sold these cool school supplies and gadgets, like these mini finger lights, the UV invisible ink pen, phone erasers, the giant erasers and pencils, the pen with every single color, and many more cool things. Now my favorite things was definitely the UV pen and the phone erasers because I would just start drawing all over my desk with stupid messages and shine the light on it to read it. And for the phone erasers, I'd just pretend I had an actual phone and my friends and I would pretend to call each other on the phones and we'd play fake games on it. Every kid did that, right? Right? The next thing we'll discuss is things we all just did for some reason. You made pillow forts. When you were in the car and it was raining, you were subconsciously betting on which raindrop was gonna win the race. Come on, come on, come on! Yes, let's go! When you'd head downstairs to the basement to get something and you'd be at the light like, okay, three, two, one, and then book it upstairs on all fours before the ghosts and monsters got to you. When you'd watch a YouTube vid and it started buffering and you acted like you didn't care for it to load faster. Aw, oh, what the hell? Huh, I don't care, you can load whenever you want to. Oh, let's go. Bro, you played with bugs. When you were bored, you talked in front of the fan and started rapping a Travis Scott verse. You played with the door stopper. You ate your broccoli like you were a dinosaur. You avoided sidewalk cracks. You made up your own language with your friends. And when you were at the park and the ice cream truck pulled up and you went to get the SpongeBob popsicle and it looked like this. <laughs> Bro, I want a refund. Next, let's talk about holidays. Now, the holidays just hit so different when I was younger. The main ones I'm talking about being Halloween and Christmas. And dude, going to school during one of these holidays was the best. You'd show up to school and your entire classroom would be decorated in Halloween decorations, or during December, Christmas decorations, all in the holiday spirit. And I don't know, man, it just hit different. And on Halloween, everyone would show up in their costumes for the day. I had a Spider-Man costume. And the teachers would give us candy and for Christmas the teachers would make us hot chocolate and we bake gingerbread men. And after that we go and watch a Christmas movie. Nowadays these holidays just don't hit nearly the same anymore and it's just kind of sad. Now the last thing we'll discuss is dangers or threats. Now as a kid I thought lava, quicksand, piranhas, asteroids, and being lit on fire would play a more significant role in my life. I don't know if I just played too many video games or it was because of the way teachers taught us about these things but I just thought these things would be like a common obstacle I would have to get through throughout my life. Like I would have to avoid lava, quicksand, and piranhas on my way to school. Or I'd have to worry about asteroids hitting earth. And I thought I would have to use the stop, drop, and roll method way more often. And to this day I have used it a total of zero times. Hopefully I won't ever have to use it. Anyways, this is the end of part two. Hopefully I helped unlock some more memories. Now uh, go find that perfect Spongebob popsicle. Anyways, I'm out. Hey, if you're bored go ahead and watch this video on screen anyways i'm out